environmentalist saboteurs are damaging, wait for it, electric scooters to save the earth. Radical green environmentalists in Europe are damaging green transportation in their latest attempts to save us from a boiling earth. Yahoo News had the full story. The radical environmental activist group Extinction Rebellion claimed the sabotage of 3,600 electric scooters in Paris and other French cities, saying the green image of the fashionable gadgets hid an ecologically catastrophic reality. That's a mouthful. So Extinction Rebellion is now going around damaging the QR codes on the scooters that allow the public to rent them and unlock them with their smartphones using an app. The group has claimed to have damaged nearly 4,000 scooters. 2,000 of those were in Paris alone. And here's why. Let's go back to that Yahoo story. Contrary to their reputation as a soft or green way of getting around, the electric scooters are ecologically catastrophic, the group said in a statement on its French Facebook page. The damage to the scooters was apparently reversible, the group said. The group also claimed that using the scooter still involved the emission of some 25% of greenhouse gases that would be emitted if the journey was made by car and 40 times that of a journey by public transportation. Extinction Rebellion also argued that studies showed that rather than replacing car journeys, people opt for e-scooters rather than going on foot. Okay, so the fact that scooters are a lot more environmentally friendly than cars, if you care about that sort of thing, and I sort of don't, well, it's just not good enough for these people. Only walking is acceptable. Two feet and a heartbeat are the only Extinction Rebellion approved modes of transportation, except if you're using a gas guzzling late model Chevy pickup to bring the old protest canoe to a bridge blockade, which is exactly what some intrepid citizen captured happening in Edmonton at the Extinction Rebellion bridge out protest. But that's what this is all about, really inconveniencing normal people who just want to go to work and live their lives. Extinction Rebellion treats the public as collateral damage in their scheme to rewrite society. Those international bridge out protests inconvenience commuters all across the globe, forcing them to idle in traffic in their cars for hours to fight climate change, I guess. And if we take Extinction Rebellion at their word, they damage the scooters not just because of the unacceptable, however tiny, carbon footprint of the scooters, but because the scooters would help the citizens of Paris avoid traffic snarls due to a massive public sector strike precipitated by the French government's attempts to reform public sector pensions. You know, boy, things are really the same all over, aren't they? It's right here, back in that Yahoo article. The electric scooter is just a toy of green capitalists, we don't want them in our cities, the group added, also condemning their use as, quote, strike breakers by commuters in the shutdown. Translation, the scooters are helping people avoid the chaos, turmoil, and inconvenience the unions are trying to cause in the streets as President Macron clashes with 80,000 union workers. For Extinction Rebellion, it's not really about saving the planet. If they cared about carbon emissions, they'd, you know, be pro-electric scooter. They certainly wouldn't use a pickup truck to cart around a canoe as a prop to their protests either. For them, it's about using the green movement to tear down capitalist Western society using, well, any means necessary. Now, my colleague Kian Bexty and I are headed to Madrid, Spain, to tell the other side of the story about the environmentalist movement that the true believer journalists just won't tell you. We're going to the UN Climate Change Conference, and it's our job to expose the hypocrisy, waste, and the high living of the elites at these global conferences. To support our trip, go to rebelun.com. For Rebel News, I'm Sheila Gunreid. To support the accountability journalism of myself and Kian Bexty at the United Nations Climate Change Conference in Madrid next week, please go to rebelun.com.